flashlight behind us. So I feel like there's something. I'm gonna grab it. Let's go. Put the flashlight behind us. I feel like something's watching us. Jesus. Go. Jesus. Cute. I'm like scared. Hey, go. I'm like scared to touch it. I'm like it freaks me out. I'm like yeah, she's cute, but I don't know if I want to touch her. Whoa, hold on a second. Here's a bow. What are you talking about? Look at this. Oh, I thought that was a like him. Oh, like him book? Hypnotism. What the What's up everybody? It's Chip and Shanika doing another Rando Nautica. Alright guys, first and foremost, I want to say from my heart, thank you so much for the prayers, condolences uh, for my sister that died from COVID. It's been really hard as these last couple weeks or week and a half, how long it's been now. But thank you so much for uh, for all your prayers. Really, it, it mean, means the world to me. It really does. Um, but going from there, we're out here during the daytime making another video. Uh, so we are a little skeptical in our last one when we did at night because we kept on seeing off camera now. I mean, we did, I think you see me turn my head a couple times when we were on camera. Anytime we're set up in a spot like this, that we kind of seen this guy hanging around about actually towards the end of our you know like doing this right now at the end i was going to see this guy leave same thing kept happening but didn't think nothing of it maybe whatever so uh thought we'd do a daytime see if we can see him around maybe he just comes out at night don't know but we're going to keep an eye on him anyway today uh you guys keep an eye on too if you see anyone hanging out trying to watch this or whatever yeah we figured give it a few days and just like let's do a day one not see what's happening during the night just to just be yeah. safe just to, you know. No doubt, no doubt. Stay with the night for a couple of days. All right, all. also, real quickly, our merch, guys, we got it on. If you like it, you want it, you can have it. We only have two tank tops left. Actually, one, because one, one large is going to April Schaefer. I felt so bad because I thought we had all these extra tank tops, and she ordered an extra large tank top, and we only had two tank tops left I'm like oh my god please don't hate me I'm so sorry so we have plenty of t-shirts left guys medium large and extra and large t-shirts a great material guys um so how do they get them babe you go to paypal.com pay the $35 and in the description or the memo area just let us know whether or not well obviously you're gonna want a t-shirt now because that's all that we have left is t-shirt and the size and where to send it and we will send it right there it's just it's almost like a cash app but if you're not familiar with paypal you just go to www.paypal.com you may have to register i don't even think that you do you could just go in as a guest and just put in all your information there and you're good to go yeah. and we do that and that's it paypal is the absolute safest way to transfer money over the internet it yeah. is We've been doing it for years. I've never, ever, ever had an issue or know of anyone else that's ever had an issue with that way. So it's the safest way to do it. And that's why we're doing it that right now. Again, if you're in the United States of America, shipping and handling is free. Yes. Because we, we did, we were looking to send one out of America, even to Canada, I think it was like $20. It's insane. I think it was like the cheapest was $28 all the way up to like $99 or something. It's, it was crazy. I don't know what's going on I with that. I can't believe but it. And her brother's a postmaster, and he's like, yeah, anything like going out of the U.S. right now is ridiculous money. So, sorry about that, guys. I yeah. really, I didn't think it was going to be that. It was like five, ten bucks, no problem. Well, you know, we'll, we'll still get it to you, but now we, we can't uh, go in the hole. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know. <clears throat> anyway, thanks so much, guys. Appreciate you. Let's get on with some intense today. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, so our first intent in this daytime, hot as hell kind of day going on. It's, uh, let's see, let's do, 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 do. Let me go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And today's lucky winner is Mandy Ham. Is that him? Mandy, yeah, Mandy Ham. All right. What is up, girl? What's up? Thank you so much for watching, uh, always commenting, and now giving us intents. Yes. Guys, when you're giving a tent, you don't have to give. 30 of them you don't have to get five if you'd like oh i don't know i'm nervous about giving a 10 or anything just give me one if you want to just give one a 10 and we like it we'll put it on there yeah so here's uh manny's intense held in captivity dark souls cult secrets oh. evil intent shadow figures 
wolf in sheep's clothing, that guy from the last video, uh, hidden crime scene, and something beautiful with a dark history. I like Ooh. all, those are all good. Yeah, those are. We're going to have to use that, but uh, you're, we're going to have to use her intent a couple <laughs> know, times. Right? Those are awesome. Oh, they're definitely cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, something beautiful with dark history. <laughs> <You know. laughs> anyway guys uh, alright so which one do you think babe oh my god I like I mean, all of them I mean I know right you want to do something beautiful with a dark history because that could be like the best of both worlds yeah I know no such doubt such as myself uh, <laughs> I'd love to do that <laughs> alright hey let's do it then you ready? Something. So let's remember something, something beautiful, beautiful with, with a dark, dark history. history. I right. really, really like something that one. beautiful with a dark history. All right. So let's get out of here. Let's get over to the old Rhino Nodder. And so we are, I have it all pulled up here. So again, we're still in the, you'll see at the top, it's the Rhino Nodder Capro. 6.21 miles is our furthest out because going any further than that, you're getting a little crazy. Um, so going to do always to do a power so it could be a tractor or a void let's generate All right, generated point. What we got, what we it's got. It's a void power uh, anomaly. Oh my lord, you still have that problem. <laughs> I have to think about it before I say it. Oh dang. So, 5.07 for the power. Radius 186 square feet, or meters, or so yards maybe, so that's huge. Yeah, yes. Um, and uh, so it looks like a good place to We got a little bit of a ride. In, to zoom in and zoom in and see what we got. Wooded area. I don't know what that is. I don't know either. That's a wooded area. It's like a wooded area, guys. My favorite part about Random Nautica is going to locations such as Destination Unknown. <laughs> and the woods, that would be the wood life. Make it a good life. Let's all, we just need to keep saying the wood life with Random Nautica. Wood life, Random Nautica. So we are, Nautica. If it, all you new subscribers. I do love the wood life. And thank all you new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for giving us a shot. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. Also, check out our old videos. We've got some, definitely some bangers that we've done in the past. Almost all of them. I love every single one of them. <laughs> not to not to <laughs> right. toot our own horn or anything. Right. But, but uh, yeah, I just want to thank you so much. Um, our original name was The Wood Life. And we, we should have, I still think we should have integrated The Wood Life with Destination Unknown. But since we do Rhino Nautica, some paranormal, but mainly Rhino Nautica, we never know where we're going. So that's why we went with that. So it's the wood life, destination unknown, and... Let's go. Let's go do it. See you soon. We own a puppet? Your purse. All right, so... <clears throat> all right, guys. Also, I figured out how to get the uh, map from my phone to the GPS on our car. So now we can follow it that way. So you want to show them, babe? In a quarter mile, turn left onto Fort Jade Avenue. Now, I turned the volume down. <laughs> it's still making volume. They wanted to talk to me. So, a quarter mile up here, we're going to take a Fort Jade is taking us to Fort Jade? Oh, Dade? yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, shoot. Go. Saw them RVs. Turn left onto Fort Jade Avenue. 7-Eleven, how about that? Oh, shoot. Surprise, 7-Eleven. Shocker. Which used, this used to be... Built this only a few years ago, and it used to be a racetrack, which I love racetracks too. But now, 7-Eleven. Got another 7-Eleven. Jump down because they have some Don't get good old truck. Slurpees. All right, one more mile to go. What is this guy doing? I don't know. All right. It's a creepy looking at. It. It's like a miniature house or something. Turn the AC down a little bit so we can actually listen. That would be wonderful. <laughs> All right. Oh, you know what's back here? 
Oh my God. I don't know if that's it, but it looks like it on this map. It's either a road or something else. We'll see when we get there. So we have been there. Randall Nutter has taken us there before one time. Um, a few months ago, but we'll see. You think it's going to take... Are, is that where we're going? Could be. Because it looks like it's right on the corner. I can't remember. I, mean, I We usually come by here at night. And I know you. it's somewhere on the corner there. And we only came here one time in the daytime. So we will see. I will be kind of excited. Bro, I think it is. In a quarter mile, turn right. Uh-oh. I will be so excited if it is. it looks like it goes around the corner a little bit. It really does. Let me right? zoom out. It looks like it goes, oh, no. No. It, right before the corner. All right, we'll figure it out here in a oh, second. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. Turn right. Oh, it is? Yep. We are going to the cemetery. Here. No way. Yep. That's what it looks like. Yep. Spring Hill Cemetery. Are you serious? You it watched. is taking us there. If you guys watch any other paranormal people, you've been here before. Check with that them. out. Yep, it's taking us right back in here. If you've been, if you've watched any paranormal oh, stuff, so beautiful. From, I mean, I know geez, oh Pete's. I mean, of course, Omar's been out here. Uh, the, uh, this, this a lot of people. Mosarji, all of them. They've all been out here. HDD, they've all, yeah, everyone's been out here, man. God, they're still dumping stuff over here. What is wrong with I don't know. I don't understand it. It's such a beautiful area. It's just ridiculous, man. This is bumpy. It's a bumpy, bumpy road, so it's going to be bumpy. A beautiful place with a dark history. Oh, my goodness. Well, this is right on. This is definitely a hit, folks, because this place is beautiful. Well, last time we were here, it was. Oh, it's so beautiful. But it has a dark history. For sure. This is one of the most haunted this, cemeteries. Oh yeah, this is the, the the road out to it. I mean, how creepy is this this little road, guys? Oh no. Oh shoot! What? I've never seen it closed. It's never been closed. Well, you got to be kidding me. Well, let's see what it says. Well, you can't just lock us out of a cemetery. Private property. No trespassing. They locked it. Well, we can walk in there. Look at that. They have to, it's this the is same. a cemetery, though. And let me let me tell you what the history. See where we see dump stuff in the back. No dumping. No dumping violators will be prosecuted. So people are still coming here dumping. The uh, issue that has been here is been, now. This is a all African American graveyard. Okay, um, there's actually some celebrity celebrities and uh, people with uh, has been sports athletes out here. So, but it's all African American, and years in past, um, people have come out here, tipped their stones over, had bonfires, dumped trash just have really really ruined this graveyard in the past so that's why there's a lot of stirred up and a lot of murders out here too a lot of stirred up stuff out here um that's why you always get some cut something paranormal out here as well especially at night um i think last time we were here a few months ago we got we got something i just heard something over there it's right off the edge of the woods um, it was really cool. Uh, if you haven't seen that one, go back, check it out. It's probably 20 videos ago or so or whatever, but it's highly paranormal out here. It's, it's ridiculous what has happened here. Um, and you see on the map, we're right here. I mean, do you want to try to walk out there anyway? I mean, we can walk right through. Looks like you can walk I through I don't there. understand how they can say you can't go. It's, I mean, it's a cemetery. It's private property. No, who, who would own this property to be private property? That's what I'm saying. It's a cemetery. It should be it's Spring Hills. But it's not can't someone's... Can't shovel for going into a cemetery. I can understand them locking the gate to keep people from coming out here dumping. But obviously, we're not, we don't have nothing to dump. Right. 
I say we go out and we'll, let's try to find this point. Obviously, yeah. let me get it back on my phone, so it should be straight ahead. But I mean, I think that's a hit for where we're going. All right, guys, come with that us. That is awesome. Awesome. Are those real? Are those like? I was gonna say, are those like raspberries? Huh? There's like berry, like look. Those are not blackberries. Oh, you need some blackberries? <laughs> yeah. So. And it says videotape. Well, we're gonna put them on surveillance as well. Even if so, the cops come out, we're not doing anything wrong. That's such a shame that they even have to put signs like that out oh, on the cemetery. Oh, look at that thing. Is that the guard of the... <laughs> that is the cemetery <laughs> guard. Guys, we, there has been so much stuff caught out here. Yeah. I'm so excited that it brought us here. That's just proof right there how the app can work sometimes. Yeah, well, you know, so like I said, it's... I don't see anything dumped that's usually the parking lot right here or the park that looks all cleaned up we have been out here years past and seen just big dumps left out there maybe that's one right there and i don't know or maybe it's from that dead tree because they you know there's still you know bad people in this world you know what i mean it's a very old cemetery and I've noticed that, that with going to many graveyards, the... Oh, that must be a child's one. Oh, yep. Little toys in it. Little rubber duckies and everything. What is that? I, it sounded like something like hit that fence. Oh, man. Guys, keep an eye out out here. You may hear or see something. Look, they had some little candles in there. Oh, man. oh the Mobleys. A lot of people say Mobley, but it's Mobley. Oh, look, they made a little yep, infant. So just put infant on there. See that by the tree? I don't know what says land on the ground over there. That's what's creeping me out even more. If something happened here, why they locked it? I mean, there really is. Why else would they lock it? This has been like this forever. Yeah, well, I mean, people are jumping back here. They jump on that road, but not in the cemetery. And also, that is kind of <clears> freaky, actually, Af isn't it? And what I was saying earlier is all. African American graves and and different cemeteries too, even ones that are together, they're above. Their top of their casket or their the container is above. That cat's creepy. Oh, these are all the movies too, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I grew up with them. Played ball with them. That's like a perfect Halloween tree. I think that's it's just it's dying and that's why it looks like that, because there's the pile of stuff. There is some old ones. I've been here. I've been here for a long time, and I I know they've had to recreate a lot of them. Like I said, they were ran over by trucks and dumped. Like here's this one laying catty corner on the ground. What was that? Every like I said, it's here a few months ago. And a year before that, every time I've been out here, which is only like three, I always get the weirdest vibes and hear the weirdest stuff. And I've been to multiple cemeteries and this one always gives me the biggest creeps. <clears throat> yes. What? Look at this. Does that not look like 
Someone's been trying to dig something up. Why would that be like that? Oh, Jesus, that thing scared the crap out of me. Like, look at that. Yeah, I don't know. There's, it That's doesn't look like they were normal. trying to do it for a headstone or maybe there were some people out here up to no good. That's why I they locked that's it. That's not nice. I'm saying. I swear I just saw something. Like how beautiful these trees are. It's a beautiful place for dark history. My goodness. Ham, you hit it. You can see it's kind of unorthodox the way everything's laid out here anyway. But I think because of so many getting destroyed in the past that it's hard to keep things in line around here. That's beautiful. Oh, That's what new. are those? Wow, what kind of plant is that? Are these the things you can squeeze and they come out like a hand sanitizer? No way, is it? Yep, look. See? See the juice? No way. Yeah, it's like it's like a That's natural crazy. natural hand sanitizer, and it smells delicious. They're beautiful. Here. Yeah, you just don't squeeze them too hard, but just give oh, it a little does. squeeze. Oh, it does! Oh my gosh, no way! It smells amazing. How about that, guys? Florida's got plants that has their that is own hand so sanitizer. That's wild. It's pretty neat. We need one of those. I know. I, That's super cool. I The thing is, I, I know about it when I see them. They're very rare. When you do see them, I forgot the name. If anyone knows the name of that, because I know we got some uh, bio, whatever they're called, uh, plant folks on here, and you, you picked up the last one plant. So plant question of today is, what is this that has like a little sanitizer juice that comes out when you squeeze it? like a beautiful magenta looking pine yeah. cone. And I wish you could smell it. It smells absolutely delicious. It really does. That smells amazing. It's beautiful too. Oh man. I love nature. I just learned today y'all. What's that over there? Oh no. That the Appalachian Trail starts in Georgia and ends in Maine. I had no idea. <laughs> that that's how the Alapalachian Trail worked out. I thought it was just in like a few states. Didn't realize it went up like almost the entire eastern coast of the U.S. Oh, I had no well, look idea. at you. So there's a fun fact for y'all today. Thanks, Miss Shauna. Now you can't say you did not learn anything new. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, Why look. is that broken? What, what do you see? Look at that fence right oh, there. Yeah. And that's right know. in front of the little girl's grave. No. Now, if you guys watched any paranormal stuff in the past, I feel like this, is so this is one of the main high parts. So, you see so many toys. The reason for these toys is when you come by her, you must give her a toy. And we don't have a toy. But also, if wow. anything goes out her gate, she will come get it. So let's find a toy outside her gate. This little hairbrush right here. Actually, this one right here. Here, get that hairbrush first. Grab that and put it back in there for her dolls to comb her hair. Here, put it up next to that doll there. There's a bug on her hair. There you go. She lost her hairbrush. It's so cool how many people have brought toys to this little girl's grave. It's awesome. It's amazing. Of course, we didn't Look know at where that lizard. we would have came here if we would have known. On that tree. Or we would have brought one if we would have known. Wow, that is a big lizard. Oh, I think we've got a little hoot owl. What's up, owl? That's so cool. Maybe another one or a penguin. I don't know what that is. So it could be an owl. You guys want to go here in the live wild. This is a pig. Look at the size of that lizard. Goodness. But anyway. Yeah, the, uh, the story behind this is if you take one of her toys, she will come after you. 
that's exactly what we're not going to do. No. Let's take one of these toys. The creepy part is, this has always been fenced in. Someone's busted out this fence here. Yeah, someone's busted that out. Did someone take her toy? Is she after him? Oh, did you hear that? I did hear that. She's quiet for a second. It's like so peaceful. It's like an eerie way. I know. This tree is beautiful. Massive trees. But yeah. And I guess some of the dark history is still keeping up with this place with the uh, why they had to lock that gate. That's a damn shame. And you've seen the two piles of dumps on the way in here because some people just can't change their ways, think a different way. They still want to come out here and dump their stuff out here. <clears throat> it's unbelievable. beautiful place what do you think babe I love it here it's so beautiful it's beautiful peaceful right on that, I hit it right on. and right I have on. a couple friends myself that are so in here right, right now and it's such a shame but the positive side to it is that we're all aware of the history now and that this cemetery is being shared worldwide mm -hmm. so it's like well it's getting out, yeah. Cemetery, so the dark history is coming out. So that's the positive to the negative. True. Good. Good. So point, that babe. could be something beautiful, right? With dark history, right there. Wow! Look at you. I'm getting deep. I'm getting deep, y'all. Watch <laughs> out. All right. Well. <clears throat> so wild. Look at all those beautiful flowers. Yeah. Well, well they're taking care of down there. They're keeping up with it because yeah. I feel like it's a little bit, I feel like it's completely different. Do you? It does but have a different look it. To really it really does. I don't know what it is. Yeah, and I, we could have went over there. But in our last video, we went over by that fence line. And there's just separate graves all to herself by the fence. Yeah. And, uh kind of pick up something on the other side of that fence too guys so go hunt that video I know, down I keep it's on creepy. looking because I'm like I don't know why but I'm like drawn to that area right I know it's open. me too and that's why I, I stayed on this side because I'm telling you that side over there whoo I mean that's up there by the little girl's grave and that over there is where the strongest uh yeah like paranormal feel feelings there. are but all right let's call it a day and get out of here I don't know how we're going to back up out of these gates but it looks like I'm gonna have to do some extraordinary driving like I do <laughs> Thank God it's you and not me. right <clears throat> that backup camera is pretty amazing yeah it is so that that helps out as well that helps me out oh guys this one's a hit one other thing Ooh. I want to say is not every time we do an intent, we find it. No. I know it looks great when we go places and we find stuff or something hit, something kind of close to it that's a hit. And there's sometimes we go five, six, seven times, nothing. So, obviously... It's not we, an automatic thing. Right. We cut and edit um, the heck out of a lot of our videos to get, get you when we hit a, get a spot, when we go somewhere, and we find it. Okay? Love you. Love y'all. On to the next one. So real quick, we're about to leave, guys, and look what we found. Um, it's just a common thing, I guess, around different spots for... Twisted tea. Who else you said find Yesco. It? Yesco always finds twisted teas everywhere he goes. Like, there's one in the tree right there. Oh, my gosh. And there's one down here. That's too funny. I was like, we were just about to get the car. I'm yeah, like, oh, my gosh, that's That one's tea. been way faded out from the sun. There's a big boy right there. I don't know what that is, but there's a big old can right there. Like, why can't people, this, this is the stuff. See that, yeah. We'll be, picking, I'll be picking that up and put it in the trash. All right, let's pick it up and go. Yeah. What's up? 
Holy moly, what do you think, babe? That was so cool. There's this dragonfly that's go going Dude. crazy around our car right now. When we first got in that gate, I don't know if that was a dragonfly or what that loud thing was, Holy but it was nuts. Cow. I know that much. It was crazy. All that right. was pretty cool, though. Mandy, again, thank you so much. You hit it right on the head. Something beautiful with the dark history. What a dark history that place has. Obviously, the history is kind of still now. Yeah. Unfortunately, why they had to close the gate. But luckily, we were able to get around it and uh, go show you some footage. Um, if you guys catch anything, really, if you have earbuds in or anything, trust me, every time we come out, we hear or see something. It's just... Every time. It's just that place. All right, so moving on to our next one. We have our next intent we're going to do with Miss Linda Love. Linda Love. Linda Love said... Oh, by the way, thank you so much. Always commenting, always watching... Thanks, Linda. We love you. Linda is forever love, love commenting. You, love, Linda, love, love you. Okay. Awesome. Um, she says, with Halloween around the corner, I went a bit dark and scary with some movie name intense and some random creepy shit. I'm just reading. Oh, I'm just reading. Shoot. I'm just reading it. I'm a you girl. All right. One, The Purge. Awesome, awesome movie. Uh, Psycho. Uh, let's see. Poltergeist. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Oops, she got lost. Uh, Poltergeist, uh, Night of the Living Dead, Annabelle, oh, yeah. Soulless, Shadow People, La La Llorona. La Llorona. Okay. Mo Sergi does a lot of La Llorona. That's that game. Oh, okay. We got to get in. I got to check that out. I've I seen it one time, but that was it. So sorry for your lost chip. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I just kept on reading. Thank you so much. I uh, appreciate it. Like, again, everyone, for all the prayers sent you out guys. to me. It's it really, like, I'm going through the messages, and I'm, it's, I'm trying to keep a dry eye at the same time, trying to go through and comment back. It really does mean a lot. I'm uh, Honestly, it's all it's my heart to say that. It's made feel so good. So, anyway, let's move on. Let's get going. Um, so, holy cow, uh, is there... You want to do Halloween because, or you want to do movies, or you want to do, what do you want to do on this one? Should we do like just Halloween in general, or we could do move? I don't. It doesn't matter to me. I think this is a good one for the daytime and the nighttime. Right, right. Let's just for right now. Let's. I mean, I know it's just for Halloween movies. Let's just. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to take number four, Night of the Living Dead, and turn it into Day of the Living Dead because if you're a true fan, you know it's Day, Dawn, and Night of the Living Dead. I know uh, nothing about that movie. Oh. Oh, girl. Zero. Oh. No. <laughs> it's the first, it's the original, like, first that I could think of zombie movies that came out. Really? Do you know where the very first Night of the Living Dead was filmed at? No clue. Now, it was filmed in different places. Now, people have looked this up. And they, oh, it was filmed here, filmed here. But the mainstay of the opening of that movie was not at this cemetery. It was at the Brooksville Cemetery five miles away. Really? Yeah. All the rest of them were done in other places, but this was back in the 60s. I believe so. If I remember right, it's been a long time since I looked it up. No way. But... It was known for, and there's a little thing on there, Night of the Living Dead, da da da, da you know, it says they did a, they did one of the film, one of the part of the films was in that graveyard, with zombies, uh, yeah. Where so is we, that at? Well, we, you know what, we actually haven't been to that cemetery, I have, we haven't together though. Wow. But Randall Nautica hasn't taken us there. Well, Randall so, Nautica needs us. You're not anyway, Randall Nautica? It's literally five miles that way, is that graveyard. So anyway, I thought that was cool, Night of the Living Dead. It's daytime, so let's do Day of the Living Dead. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, got the Renault Nautica app pulled up, ready to generate Day of the Living Dead. Dun, dun, dun. Shh. Are you pushing it? Mm -hmm. I heard something in the back. You know what it sound like? Oh, it's on here. Media. Did you get, did the point come on? 
Yes, the point came up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was she still sleeping? My bad, babe. You don't hear that when it does it? All right, for right now, that's where the point is. All right, so we're going to find Day of the Living Dead. What the heck was that? My phone. Until <laughs> we get there. Bye. Guys, we're almost there. We be rolling. Oh, that's RVs. Everywhere. <laughs> Heck yeah. Ooh. One of my favorite sports restaurants. That restaurant is the bomb diggity. Glory days. Glory days. So good. And they have like TVs everywhere. And the troopers are out. My TV. gosh, they sure are. It's getting our car washed. They be staying dirty. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. Oh. It's funny, I'm just singing that. I've never seen a trooper. <laughs> uh, Where are you going? I think it's. Oh, go down. Well, it told me it was similar to go that way. But... Florida's best barbecue. That's what they say. It's pretty good, darn it. It's pretty damn good, I ain't gonna lie. This has got barbecue on it. I've probably been there. I've never had it. Oh. Uh, been there with the boys. I can't. They put this light so far in, I don't know if we got green or red or well, as long as the traffic is going by us, we're good. Lord have mercy. There we go. Ooh. All right. So we're getting close now. It's taking us to one of these back roads. Yeah. So pretty much Halloween Day of the Dead. That's what we're going with. It's our intent. That's what we're doing our intent on. About the perfect yards right. for the holidays. <laughs> Guys, can you believe it's like almost time for the holidays? Like the season is coming. Look at that tree. Is that tree like that? That is crazy looking. Yeah, it oh, it's good. so cool. Trees to the right. Oh, little trail we got going on. Trees to the left. You know, the, uh, making me take a left here. This is going back towards. Oh, we're going left? Yeah, this is going towards like shopping centers. I wanted to go in the woods. That's why I thought I was taking us to the woods. Uh, no, it's not. Well, ain't that a bummer? I was like, oh shoot, it's going to get real creepy. I don't know. Let's say take a left. There's nothing but a that's abandoned. This building's oh, abandoned. Oh, I was thinking it's a parking lot. That was abandoned building. Look, the building. Look, that's the old Sears. It's, it's closed down. The old Sears is closed down. But it's telling us to walk into that store. No look, way. Look at show the map. So this way we just came, guys, and boom, and it came up. The the thing came up to this address. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm like. They changed it. Oh my God. It's no Spirit Halloween. Way. <laughs> that is I thought they cool. got rid of those I mean, stores. I, 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 they go away, but they, I guess whenever you're, uh, they get an abandoned building or whatever, or something closes down, they move in. Oh my gosh. I thought they got rid of it. Bro. Hey. What's your camera pointing? Thanks. Yeah. That's some like, that's some stuff right there now. Yeah, boy. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Gotta go check it out. You guys want to go check it out? Can we go in there with the camera? What are they gonna do? The worst thing they can do it's is tell us. Yep, yeah, it's like I don't know. What the worst thing they can Whatever. do is tell us turn it off, right? You tell me it's nothing. It. Let's go. I'll put on a custom and hot their butts. <laughs> Here, you want to take the camera? Sure, we'll take it. All right, guys. Oh, so let's go check it out. That's no so crazy. Way. That's funny. That's just from the phone and the keys, baby. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. I thought at first I was getting excited because I was like, the building's abandoned. Maybe there's some way we can get in. 
and so does this happen no in, way. does this happen in your neck of the woods or city or wherever you're at anywhere in the world do they these pop up like September in abandoned buildings in your town because I haven't even I didn't even know they were open yet I, I know it's September but I wasn't even thinking about it oh man check this out Here, get the door oh. for me face coverings oh. are required to enter that's required how you gonna put face covering on and do this check that out that's cool Oh my god, this thing just jumped up. Holy Jesus. That just scared the crap out of me, guys. Holy cow. That's awesome. There you go, babe. That thing. See what it did? Holy moly. That's cool. Alright, let's go through this. Check this out. Look at the floor. That is cool, like bloody floors. Uh-oh, what the hell? Uh-oh, what's going on? Uh, pumpkin factory out here? Not too scary. Got everything, man. Oh, sleeping on the job, buddy. This stuff's not working. Let's see. Oh, witcheries? You want to be a witch? Oh, sexy witch, maybe, babe? Oh, you're over there looking at stuff instead this of. This is so cool. I've always wanted one of these. This would scare the, the hell out of me. If you were in the in. woods, if so, with one of these things like that, no doubt. That's scary. That's scary. It is. Let's see oh, what this yeah. does. That's awesome. It's a factory showroom. And if you want to be in, there's all the costumes, girls and boys. <laughs> I love this kind of, like, this is so cool. Right? That's pretty badass. Awesome. Keep it moving. Oh my god, one of my favorite of all times, killer clowns. Spiky. I'm really gonna kill my wife in this damn store. She's so interested in going out looking. All right. Try to go find Shauna. She is still alive. I got distracted. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, your pleasures. Look, guys, it's a little warm in here. It, like I said, there's a fan on the AC. It's not working that good. But we got a big fan on, so if it gets a little wind on the microphone, you know what it is. Oh, the buttons Aww. aren't working. I think most of them just their eyes glow up. See, it's starting to different colors. That's cool. That's good. Detail is pretty awesome on these. Look at this 
Hawks had better days. <laughs> Keep you on the is there a ball at the end of that? Keep you on the ball of chain, woman. Oh, there we go. Some morbid babies. This is creepy in itself. Big old. Those are freaky. Could you imagine? And I forget who's talking about spiders, but I think I, we found your spider. <laughs> yeah, that's just that's cool. What does this do? The Harley Quinn. None of their stuff Harley works. Quindle. That's cool. Oh, you gotta pull the tab. Oh. Oh, check this out. Let's check this out. Uh, the construction cool. workers all working in here. you every time, man. I think that scarecrow's had, he's had one too many. That one's had one too many. Well, look at that. There goes number, her, I think that was the number one thing that oh she had on God, there. Oh my God, it was. Check that out. Press no stuff. way. That's fitting pretty big. No. And all the tools that you need. Some swords, scissors if needed. Holy oh, cow, this is really cool. Oh, yeah. Oh,
Laughing Jack. I like the name of that one. Cereal Clown. Question. Where is this guy from? What movie? Oh, I'm so curious. Oh, I'm Big fast. Oh, I got close to him. You have to be faster than that. <laughs> then the question is, 
put down in the comments where is this guy from? What movie? Well, I think this is definitely a David Dead guy right here. I love the robotics so much. That's pretty cool. Are you ready to party? There's the whole Harley Quinn section. But I'm back to you. That's pretty neat, guys. All right. Well, I think we uh, hit it pretty much on some Beetlejuice. Look at that. I just seen it all here. Oh, I love this jersey. Oh my gosh, we might have to buy something today. Look at that, a hockey jersey. Yeah, Voorhees, awesome. Jason Voorhees. And on the front. How cool is that? That's the front of it. That's pretty cool. 13 Voorhees, that is cool, cool. Let me get some matching socks, some Camp Crystal Lake socks. Camp Crystal Lake hats. That is awesome. The price on this? I don't really want to show prices because I don't think we're allowed to do that. But oh, check out the sign. What? That looks almost just like it. Can't go up the Camp Crystal Lake. That's pretty awesome. A little Springwood High School. Thirty-nine And then right next to him is some Freddy Krueger. Your Nightmare Killer with a. Uh, a little bit That's of flair. That's pretty cool. Look at that cup. That cup looks better than all of them. It really does. The detail on that is awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> Gotta love it. Here's Chucky. Yeah. He's all over the place. He's been in all different spots. <clears throat> oh, in all different shirts. Check this out. I love shirts like this. Creeping it real. Creeping it real. I oh, love it. Oh my god. This is awesome. <clears throat> you should get this, Dave. I think I'm gonna get this. Oh yeah. Adopter. Yeah. Familiar black magic animal rescue. No way, got that's owl. awesome. Boom. Ow. Spot black cat, rat, froggy, rabbit, and a raven. You have to get that. Oh yeah, I'm getting that that's guys. That's awesome. I'm gonna go look for it, find it right now. I like this creeping it real. I wish it was a V-neck. But I wouldn't hear it. Not, I wouldn't all, right. Hear it. all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Did you have fun, baby, in here? This is awesome. Can you believe that? This is I think we're just gonna cut so the camera out and start pretty, looking some more. Pretty cool. This is a good one for sure. Well, guys, we found a lot of haunted stuff. So now it's time to buy that shirt and get out and do our next intent. Hope you enjoyed Spirit Halloween. Ooh, ooh. All right, check out. I just wanted to come over here real quick. Check out these. Some gargoyles. I think we've seen gargoyles on there too. Pretty awesome. All the gravestones. Those gargoyles. That's pretty awesome. Angels. Pretty realistic too. Cool stuff for sure. So that was pretty cool, right? That Spirit was awesome. Halloween. That was a pretty cool store, man. It's so weird that I thought where it was taking us was in the woods, or you thought it was in the I woods. I totally thought it was and in the woods. And I was like, woods. well, maybe it's the banding building, and then no, boom, it's Spirit Halloween. That was pretty cool. Yeah, there was some cool stuff in there for sure. We're going to have to definitely take the kids back there and see what they want to be this year for Halloween. Kids are going to love it. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Woo! They have so much fun in that <laughs> store. It's been a, such a long time, though, since we've had it in this town. I know. That's awesome that it's there. It's so funny though. It's just how it, how it took us there. I know. <clears throat> anyway, all right. On to number three of the day, and uh, for our third and final intent, are you ready, ma'am? I'm ready. Let's go. All right. So we have. Let's see here. I got a Shelly Tibby or Tribby. What's it say? I can't. Shelly Tribby. Tribby. I thought what is I missed up, R. Shelly. Thanks so much for commenting and whoop, whoop. always. Uh, you know watching our videos love you so much thanks so much please guys share like it like it like it um and share 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 
share it obviously but we definitely want your likes please comment even if you just say hi we'd love to see your comment just so you know, we say hi back so please do it um all right shelly uh again the condolences uh da -da -da, she writes a few things on on what she liked about her video thank you so much and uh her intentions are dun, dun, dun. lock it masterpiece destruction labyrinth is that how I, did I pronounce that right labyrinth yes labyrinth uh, message from beyond 